Hello there. So this is the continuation of the install of the Ventru Lurker V240. I'll be removing the current Noctua C14S that's installed right now and replace it with a Ventru. Here's the Noctua C14S next to the Vetru. The Noctua works well, especially at stock speeds. I'm only changing it because of the overclock I want to keep. The Noctua does work when it's overclocked, but the temp goes fairly high. If I do a stress test, it'll hit thermal throttling. If I do a Cinebench multi CPU test or the CPU Z stress test, but otherwise it's been great. So we'll see how it works with the AIO. I also installed the copper heatsink for the main drive because the MSI heatsink doesn't directly touch all of the parts of the um, M2 drive. So I installed this to keep it cooler. I got the idea from the Cardea, which has a heatsink and keeps the drive cool. I've installed the backplate for the 1700 and I've also installed the bracket for the, um, the copper cold plate that I'll be attaching to the backplate basically by screws. So I also have the fan and the radiator on top. I'm going to put two more fans on top of this later, but I'm going to install the um, cold plate first. So. It's an easy install. Just put the cold plate and match it to the bracket and use the screws that's included. So, okay. It took me a while to complete this because I decided to use my extra fans and create a push-pull uh, setup. So basically, like I mentioned previously on the install part, once you have the bracket in for the Intel, 1700 you're going to use these screws and then screw them till they bottom out so screw them alternately um, and then once they bottom out that should be it and i did have the um, radiator outside of the case and did a push-pull configuration i had some trouble because i got some rubber gaskets like i mentioned previously so that the it'll reduce the noise and the vibration basically keep it silent i actually had trouble with the screws that was uh, included because the long ones weren't long enough to to go from the bottom to the top so here's the fan configuration so this is what came with the ventru these are corsair fans i already have and then um here i actually used zip ties to tie them to the bottom part and then I had the short screws go here and then the long screws a couple of them didn't really even fit but I had a couple of um, two to three screws for this fan um, to the radiator basically so these fans push up and these top fans pull it out so the airflow is from from inside here to there basically from here to there okay one more thing to note too if you're planning to use the RGB or rather you want your motherboard to use the RGB um, uh, control so once you install this and once you start it it'll have its its own pattern and to make the motherboard um, control that pattern so you see it has its own pattern while the rest of the motherboard will be doing the rainbow rainbow pattern basically so to make the ventru rgb um, rgb pattern follow the motherboard you would have to just press and hold the mode button on the controller so you'll see i'll hold it for a couple of seconds so there now it's following what the motherboard setup is so the motherboard it's defaulted to the rainbow what was that rainbow uh, flush or rainbow puke so that's uh, it's gonna follow the motherboard now 
so that's it for the install basically I'll be doing some benchmarking to finish off this this upgrade and I have high hopes that this very reasonable AIO would perform well especially with just adding two extra fans that I have so basically the benchmark is not the default benchmark that it comes with just the two fans uh, I added two more Corsair 120 fans so this definitely I expect this to be cooler than the standard um, box AIO so let's go to the benchmarking but yeah but uh, the design I like the colors it's really nice and I'm hoping to have a long use for this AIO and it's my first IO so I hope it does not disappoint Okay, so the conclusion for the Vetru Lurker V240 with, of course, with, with my case, I had um, two more fans on top doing a um, push-pull configuration and it's in external outside the case. So the overclock that I have right now, it was the, uh, is a offset one, just a quick one that uh, is in the MSI BIOS. I didn't want to spend too much time tweaking stuff because normally when you're, you know, when you, when you really want to squeeze everything in, all of the stuff you could squeeze in, it, it'll take hours for, you know, uh, changing voltage and all. I didn't want to do that basically. So my overclock is here. So this is it. And also the computer is in balance mode because normally, right, when you when I'm working, I don't really need all of the horsepower that the CPU can give. So it's running on balance mode. Pretty much the Vetru did really well. So there was, I did have to adjust a little bit on the, um, the BIOS on the offset basically because I was hitting temps initially on some of the benchmarks, though I wasn't really that concerned in, about it because I don't r run any hard, uh, hard to the system programs. I should say I don't do uh, you know Blender or any other program that really taxes the system. And the gaming that I do, I mean, it's it's not really hardcore gaming right now. I only have like I mentioned previously, um, Doom Eternal and CS. Go. I'll probably be installing some more um, when I find time, and you know, if I if I if I to try out some more new and fun games. Basically, I'm thinking of Halo Infinite, but we'll see, we'll see. So the Vetru really did well and um, kept my temps well. So so let's let's go with the bad first. So the bad, the quality is not known. I mean, the Noctua, I could throw it in, leave it there forever probably you know like a decade or so from now it'll still be running fine it's quiet and that's why it's ac yeah it, it actually costs more than the vetro anyways and another bad thing i should say is that the um the the screws couple of them were stripped well i guess because also i have a 
the rubber rubber padding so um they, maybe they weren't going through the holes properly <laughs> i mean it's not my fault it was the rubber that the layer of rubber that's there and maybe it was just kind of you know not properly aligning to the hole so a cup a few of them got stripped but i was able to make do with with the rest and um it's holding the fan well and then other than the uh, other side on the other side where i had to use zip ties basically but the long screws a few of them got stripped so it's not really a major concern though and then the quality we'll find out that's the thing right they're new they're trying to prove themselves so i hope they do but for me it's still kind of a hopefully you know it goes well i, I expect uh least no uh, a year of no issues with this one so if i do encounter any issues i'll throw it away and change it with something that's you know that's uh, that's proven to be reliable but i'm not too sure yet what that would be because this is my first aio anyways now the good the good is the price so it's it's fairly cheap compared to the others and I got it not even on a sale and I think I, I heard some from other reviewers that it sometimes it's like 10 or 20 bucks you know less on sale so that's a very good price and the 1700 uh, backplate is there already so that was the most important part I wanted to get something that already has the backplate so I got my Noctuite already had a backplate and the Vetru 2 so I was initially looking at the Arctic um, the Arctic one but they didn't have a white colored one I would have preferred white and Anyways, and then the other brand suit, they it said call for the uh, adapter basically, and I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to get the product with the new um, with the new backplate or the um, the default backplate for the seventeen hundred. So this one has the new backplate, and I didn't have any problems installing it. It's a fairly quick and easy install, as as I showed you earlier. And the temps, that's the good part too. Um, I think the default, eh, maybe maybe there'll be a couple of degrees difference versus the the push pull setup that I have, but the temps are are really good. Um, I don't think I'll encounter any any issues with the temp. The good is it's a fairly easy install. The backplate is there. It worked out of the box. The price is great, and that's it. So yeah, I I I recommend it for if you're looking for something that already has the um, the seventeen hundred plate for the price. And as as my first AIO, I'm hoping to really you know to to not be disappointed by this. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, give me a like. Thank you.